Hi everyone, so this video is going to be about my top beauty buys under £5 and I've been meaning to do this video for ages, I just haven't gotten around to it, there's kind of been other videos that needed to go up within a certain time frame and that kind of thing, but I'm really excited because I think that it's just a really cool idea. Then another thing that's just worth mentioning is what I'm wearing because otherwise I will forget because I always do. On my lips I'm wearing one of the MUA lipsticks in number 13 which is coincidentally um, one of my best buys under £5. Then my nails are Sex and the City nail polish in Samantha. They're chips, I need to redo them again tonight really. But um, yeah that's what I'm wearing on my nails and my top is from this new website called She and side and they wanted to send me a few stuff to kind of wear in videos and review and I really really like it it's just this kind of gorgeous bright blue blouse it's got a collar which I folded in because the collar was irritating me but it's just got this kind of gorgeous like sheer embroidery here and it's just really pretty and really girly and I love the colour really nice for spring if you don't want to wear pastels because they can kind of wash you out not that you'd know it's spring because it's actually snowing outside right now but yeah I'm going to get into it I'm going to start with makeup and then move on to skincare and that kind of thing because makeup is obviously the most interesting for most of us. So first of all, skin products. I don't really have any foundations that are great under £5. Some drugstore ones are really lovely. I love Bourjois Healthy Mix. Um, I love the Maybelline um, Dream Matte Mousse. That's fantastic. But none of those are under £5. My top skin buy, um, base buy if you want to call it that, under £5 is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is absolutely, hands down, the nicest concealer ever. Really great value for money, covers everything, covers really well under eye circles and it's just a really nice kind of concealer that's easy to just kind of put on and you don't have to worry about it too much. The shade selection is quite nice as well and it's £4.20 I think, £4.19, something like that. Then in terms of eye products, I don't love many eyeshadows from the drugstore that are under £5. I know a lot of people love the MUA palettes, but I've kind of looked at them and they look nice, but it's not something that really appeals to me. But some eyeshadows that I do really like are the natural collection ones. The colours I've got right here are Crushed Walnut and Milk Chocolate. And they're two kind of just neutral, natural brown colours. The darker one is good for my brows, and this one's a nice kind of um, crease colour. But they're £1.99, really nice quality, and you kind of get what you pay for. You know, they're not MAC or Urban Decay, but they are nice. Then two products that actually do rival MAC, in my opinion are the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Eyeshadows. The colours I've got here are On and On Bronze and Permanent Chope. So that's on and on bronze, and that's permanent taupe. The taupe one is matte, the bronze one is shimmery, but both of these are really, really fantastic. They don't crease, they're really pigmented, they give that gorgeous kind of almost sheen, wet look to your eyes, which I really, really like, and they're just easy to throw on. You can kind of incorporate other colours with them, and they're really fantastic. They do loads of different shades. They do a lot of bright ones, and I kind of wish they did more neutrals. I want them to do a kind of nude skin colour base, that would be perfect, but these are £4.90, I believe, or and they're amazing. I definitely recommend these. If you were only to pick kind of one best buy under £5 from this video, it would be these. Then nail polishes. I couldn't mention um, £5 nail polishes without talking about Barry M. I think Barry M are the go-to nail brand for under £5. And they do loads of different effects of nail polishes, which is really great. So they do kind of like these instant effects. This one's in foil, which is this lovely gold colour. Then they're just classic cream colours. This one is Peach Melba. And then the new ones are the Jelly High Shine Nail Paint. This one's in Prickly Pear. I haven't actually used this one yet, it's new. But um, I've used the Blueberry one and they're nice. And then they do kind of like glittery ones and that kind of thing. I don't love this one in particular, which is Hologram. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you the variation that they do. And they're all priced at about £2.99, £3.99 or £4.99. I don't think any of them are more expensive than that. And they're generally on offer as well. I think the most expensive ones are the Jelly High Shine ones. But they are really, really great nail polishes. And just kind of like foolproof nail colours in my opinion. 
Then another great nail polish buy is one you can buy in New Look, I believe. And these are the Stargazer nail polishes, and they're numbered. This one is 504, and it's just this lovely, gorgeous peach colour. But these are really, really pretty, and... Um, very kind of creamy and opaque, nice coverage of the nail and they go on really well and I believe these are about £2.99. So that's that for nail polishes. Then in terms of lip products, there's some great under £5 lip products here. The first one is, as I said, what I'm wearing right now which is MUA's lipstick in number 13. This is part of the pound range that MUA have. They have a couple of different ranges at different price points, but I generally think all their lip products are under five pounds. But this one I really like. I love the color of it. It's just a classic red, um, but it's kind of got a little bit of pink to it. It kind of looks nice with the red nails, but I really like this. The other colors that they do are nice as well. Just be wary of the shimmery colors because they can be a little bit gritty. Then another great product is the collection Queen Puffs. This one is in the colour Fairy Cakes and I've also got it in the nude colour and the pink colour but I can't find those for some reason, I don't know what I've done with those. But these are really nice, the packaging of these are really nice as well, they kind of come with that little Jofa applicator and it's got that kind of rubberized NARS-esque lid and they're just really kind of moisturising matte lip creams in a way so they're really really easy to put on and they last for ages and they're about three pounds I think. Then obviously like I can't remember off the top of my head every single price point but all of these are around five pounds. They're all under five pounds. There might be the odd one which I'm going to mention later that's maybe like five pound ten but generally they're all under five pounds. Then two other good examples are the Rimmel lipsticks. This one right here is part of the Moisture Renew line and this one is part of the Colour Show Off line. This one is in the shade Shake Up Pink which is just a kind of gorgeous vibrant melon pink colour. Haven't used that in ages actually. And then this one is my all time favourite nude which is, um, what's it called? Spotlight Beige really really love this one, great nude if you don't like something that washes you out too much. I know that Rimmel are definitely a brand that a lot of people really really like and they've obviously had all the new Kate Moss um, lipsticks and the Apocalypse and those types of things but the colours in the Kate Moss collection didn't really appeal to me to be honest and part of the um, Apocalypse line, I tried a couple of them in store and they kind of separated and made my lips feel really weird so I haven't tried any of those but they are very um, popular. Then another eye product that I forgot was the Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in Nude. This is my all time favourite nude eyeliner. Better than MAC, better than NARS, better than Chanel in my opinion. It lasts so long. I'm wearing it on my um, lower waterline today even though I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see but it's absolutely fantastic really really good value and just amazing then my last favorite lip product is this lipstick by Boots um, own brand which is 17 and they've changed the packaging of these they've got kind of nice sleek black packaging now but these are really really nice they're very moisturizing very glossy almost balm like and they're the moisture shine lipstick not moisture shine mirror shine sorry this colour is Nudist Peach and they're really glossy, really kind of juicy on your lips and they're great and I think they're about one, one, not one pound, four pound seventy. I don't know what is up with me today, I'm just not quite with it. Then another great lip product is by Sleek and Sleek's a kind of brand that I tend to just overlook a lot, I don't know, it just never really appeals to me. But this lipstick is really nice, I only wear it in summertime really, but it's the shade Peaches and Cream and it's in the Sheen lipsticks. And it's just this gorgeous bright um, peachy corally colour and it looks beautiful on, really nice formula, really moisturising, kind of glides on effortlessly and they're really nice and they're not too expensive either and again they've got that kind of NARS rubberized packaging. Then in terms of cheek products, I've got some nice cheek products here. The first one is my all time favourite drugstore blush and it is by Fashionista and this is actually £4, so just under budget and it's in the shade Thrill which looks like this. It's just a kind of gorgeous watermelon pink, really really pretty. They're really pigmented these blushes so you can't be heavy handed with them if you are someone that has tendency to do that, don't. Um, you have to kind of dip the brush in quite gently and put it on and don't kind of be too kind of 
trigger happy about it, if you know what I mean, because you can end up with clown cheeks, so you just have to build it up lightly. Then another lovely one is by Natural Collection. I've got a few of these and I kind of chuck them in my handbag to just touch up with because they're so cheap. They're £1.99. And this one right here is in Pink Cloud. But they've got a couple of different shades. All really, really pretty. All really easy to wear. They're all, as far as I can remember, matte as well, which is really lovely. And they're just kind of easy to throw on blushes that will just kind of stay in your makeup bag as little staples, but you won't be too worried about if you lose them or anything like that. Then a great dupe for a MAC MSF is this Sue Moxley Baked Bronzer and it's in the shade Bale. looks like this and it's just a baked bronzer, accessorised do these as well and I use this kind of as a highlighter rather than a bronzer because it's a bit too shimmery but it looks really really nice when you've got a tan, not when you're super pale like I am at the moment. Then um, what else have I got? My favourite all time bronzer which is actually a pound and um, this is the MUA bronzer in shade number three. You can see I love this because I've hit pound on it which is very rare for me. Great matte warm tone but not orangey, um, great for contouring and it's a pound. I'm not sure if they do these still because I have noticed when I was in there the other day that they had like a big round bronzer and that was all they seemed to have and maybe this is kind of like not a bronzer, it's a powder perhaps but it's in shade number three and it is fantastic. It's my favorite drugstore bonder. Then moving on to kind of facial skincare, my top buy under five pounds would have to be the Boots Botanics Cleansing Toner All Bright. This is my go-to toner. I've repurchased it over four or five times now and it's two pounds 76, I think. And it's a really, really lovely toner. Just kind of brightens up your skin, sweeps away everything that needs to go and leave your skin looking really fresh. Then my top hair care buy under five pounds is the Boots Essentials Curling Cream. You know I love this, I've mentioned this loads and this is £1.40 something I believe but really fantastic, gives great definition and I know a lot of you in the US weren't sure where you could get it. I have looked and I haven't found kind of a reputable place to get it from so I don't want to recommend anything in case it's kind of not the best place to buy it from but um, eBay maybe or that kind of thing, I don't know. But this is really really great and I wouldn't be without this, it's fantastic. I know so many people were saying that it was discontinued, but my boot still has them. Then body products. Nice shower gels under five pounds. Obviously there's loads, but I just really like these and they're the original source shower gels. I like all of them. Um, this one is the Zingy Lime, but I like the mint one. I like the chocolate mint one. Um, the only one I don't like is the pink one, which is I think strawberry yogurts because I did like it and then my boyfriend told me that he thought it smelled like baby sick and that really put me off because then I kind of thought yeah it kind of does but this is a really lovely one so they're really inexpensive as well they're two pounds but if you buy them in certain places they're a pound love those then two budget body butters which you know I love are the Bodylicious body butters this one's the cocoa one and the coconut one coconut one's my favorite at the moment but these are a pound you can buy them in Poundland and it's worth going in there to have a look at them just for these because they're really really great and really moisturizing and just a kind of great standard body butter but for a pound you can ask for anything else and I love the fact that this one doesn't have the alarming orange color like the cocoa one does this one's just white because the cocoa one is bright orange and I find that a little bit off-putting and the strawberry one's bright pink and I don't like that either but the coconut one is lovely and then last but not least I think this sometimes is like £5.10 on regular price but it still kind of counts as £5 right but um, generally you can get this on offer for about £2 and it's the Dove Summer Glow Nourishing Lotion for normal to dark skin and it's just a gradual tanner I love this gradual tanner um, I do really like the Garnier one as well. I've done a full comparison video of the two, so I'll try and link that in the down bar. But I do really, really like this one and I have repurchased it time and time again. So those are my top buys under £5. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.